Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Life of a Network Engineer. This channel will be more on networking information and also other learnings what I have learned throughout my life. Okay, let's skip to the video now. So this video will be on how do we set up a guest Wi-Fi SSID in a 9800 WLC. I have already put a couple of videos on uh, Cisco 9800, like how do we set up the 9800 WC in a VMware environment, VMware workstation, and also how do we do a detailed configuration in the Cisco uh, WC 9800. I'll be giving the links on the top. If you want, you can uh, make use of it. Okay, so let's skip to the video now. Uh, how do we set up a guest user in W8 9800? First thing is we'll have to go under configuration and then set up a AAA uh, for setting up a AAA authentication you will have to go under AAA method list and then add a new AAA authentication list which is called as guest okay and the type should be login and the group type should be local okay and then you will have to click on apply to device and the second step after this should be to configure the web authentication which will be under configuration security and then web authentication okay in this web authentication there will be something called a certificate as the, you see it is a not secured so if, if you are installing this in your environment this is where you will have to import the new certificates and then run them through okay uh, which is https certificate and also the web auth certificates uh, for https here uh, you will have to just click import and uh, fill the details and then uh, initiate the import using the 3 cd mon or any other software so here uh, we are not going to use it but i'll say, tell you how do we do it okay uh, so under here we'll have to go under global and then the global will have a virtual ip address and you can always type select the type which is web auth or auth bypass consent and web consent so there are multiple options we are looking into web auth now okay uh, as i said before if you have installed the certificate that will be coming here so you will have to just select the certificate which is as part of the guest but uh, i feel that as it is guest you don't have to apply any certificate you can just leave it as it is if you are applying a certificate then yes uh, the url uh, redirection has to be configured here that is called as a host name and you'll have to save the configuration suppose if you like to configure a banner like when someone is logging in they'll have to get a banner on top of it you can configure the banner here like uh, it is a private uh, network or something like that okay and after that the main things here are maximum http connections and also the virtual ip okay and other than that these are all the optional where https intercept a captive bypass portal uh, these are the optional fields if you want you can enable them and configure accordingly so i'll skip this for now and i'll just keep on update and apply so uh, you should always configure the web auth under global only reason is because i'll show you suppose you are having some you are trying to configure some other test environment or guest environment but the main thing is you won't be able to get the virtual ip here so for a redirect of web authentication you will need the virtual ip so it's always mandatory to configure under global okay so i'll delete this for now and the next option is after configuring the web auth you will have to configure the wlan that will be under configuration tag and profile and then wlan here we'll configure a guest ssid here we'll have to configure the guest ssid as guest okay we'll leave the ssid as it is and we'll enable as status and broadcast enabled if you are having an advanced aps then you can select all multiple aps multiple types of aps then you can select all and then under security you can you will have to disable the layer 2 and under layer 3 you will have to enable web policy and then uh, you remember the configuration global wherein we gave the ip address of 192.0.2.1 which is the default ip and you can configure any ip for a matter of fact and then authentication list you remember the first thing what we configure and the most of the times the best way to do is to configure pre-auth acl which is which is pre-auth v4 i'll tell you what that uh, acl is okay uh, when you see here 
it will be under configuration security and acl okay this is the pre auth acl so this acl by default stops the guest users from hitting any of your our network segments except the dns and the dhcp ip okay uh, that is one way to apply it sometimes you get an error so there is a workaround for it we will look that in detail later we have configured the wlan and everything so the last step in this will be to configure the guest users so that will be under configuration and then guest user okay so here you can see i have just created a test user you can create multiple users as well so here the username is test and the description is guest user you can you'll have to give the password and if you leave this to zero which means that you can connect unlimited users here or you can restrict some number of users based on the logins and here is the lifetime like how much time should be this username and password be valid you can set that here and then click on update policies okay once this is done when you hit the ssid uh, here you will get a redirection when, when you connect the guest you will get you will be automatically redirected to the ip web auth ip which is which is 192.0.2.1 and then you will be prompted for the username and password and once you are given you will be connected to the environment uh, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section below uh, thanks for your time guys happy learning